One shareholder or interested party in a company by the name of CEA Industries, CEA Industries, uh, they are publicly traded trader on the stock symbol CEAD, contacted us in regards to, you got to talk to this company. And it is a it is a one-stop shop for cultivation. Tony McDonald is the CEO and chairman of the company. Tony, how are you, sir? Great to have you. Sorry for all the fault or all. Oh, not at all. I love that sweater. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> we're, sending, we're sending you one. God bless you, everybody. Yeah. As a parting gift. And I'm going to be in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I want I want you to talk to us. You have a couple of different interesting, uh, conducting due diligence on you for anyone in there. You've got this Hydro Builder Holdings. You've got this Merida Capital Partnership. And it all, it all turns into one sort of tip of the spear, and that is, of course, uh, CEA Industries. I'm going to let you take it from there and go from the top down and talk about what you guys do. Sure. Well, we're, uh, we go back to originally 2006, uh, long before cannabis was legal. And uh, so our, we're, our, part of our business is we do engineering, infrastructure engineering and equipment for indoor cultivation. And that could be cannabis or non-cannabis. The bulk of our business has been uh, serving uh, you know, legal cannabis grows that are growing up around the country. So we fancy we're about the most experienced engineer. Uh, in the space, and we do licensed uh, mechanical engineering as well as provide the equipment folks need. The uh, you know wh what's interesting here is uh, cannabis was in vogue, believe it or not, as far as an investment vehicle back in t about 2015. It kind of kind of hit hit the rails really well, and people wanted to take a look at it. And then it kind of went out of favor a little bit because we had this federal banking problem and so on and so forth. Then suddenly Canada, which has a population the size of California, makes it federally legal. And once again, I would say you guys are back in the right place at the right time because, boy, between medicinal, between medicinal CBD and maybe recreational cannabis, uh, it is back. It's, we're sort of pre-peak again, aren't we? I mean, this is sort of a renaissance of this industry, at least as a consumer uh, watching the consumer trends. Boy, I'll tell you, you guys are back stronger than ever this time. You're in a good place to be right now. Well, we, we, we sure hope so. Um, you know, Canada would, had a great run, and uh, historically, we've done about a third of our business in Canada. That slowed down a bit as they've kind of uh, done the bulk of their build out, but there's a long run to come in the U.S. And again, that's just on the cannabis side. We're also uh, doing stuff in, uh, in the vertical uh, vertical farming uh, and indoor uh, indoor non-cannabis grow. So that we think there's going to be a a long run of that because ultimately you're going to eat more food than we're going to need cannabis. Yeah, the uh, the the interesting part of this thing is is you have uh, let's talk about the businesses also uh, with with respect to uh, Merida Capital Partnership and also in your your new agri I think you call it agritecture, which is really interesting. Talk about those two things for us. Sure, these are uh, these are firms that we partner with. Merida is probably the leading uh, one of the leading investors in the space. Uh, they're you know very aggressively out there uh, supporting and investing in the industry. Uh, that might be good folks for you to talk to as well. Uh, the, the guy who runs it, Mitch Barukowitz, has got a great perspective on the industry. Uh, and then we also partner with some other folks, Agritecture, which is more on the non-cannabis side. And they've been a valuable partner in, in helping us uh, learn about and reach out to people on the non-cannabis side. You know, Tony, when I look at this, by the way, Tony is chairman and CEO of a company called CEA Industries. And they're publicly traded under the stock symbol CEAD. If you want more information, you can go to CEAindustries.com. But, you know, the more I look at this, it's an enterprise-wide solution. Because you got water treatment, you got marketing brand awareness, you got the capital partnership, you've got the, you got the, uh, the, the one-stop shop for cultivation companies. What's the plan for you guys for the next 18 months to two years as you execute the business model? Sure. Well, we want to continue to provide enhanced services and broader services uh, to uh, people in the space. So we've been over the last two years in particular, been broadening our offerings. Historically, we'd been kind of HVAC geeks and we have real deep expertise on the environmental control side. And that's our that's our primary gig. Uh, again, you know, the licensed mechanical engineer, but we've broadened that now to, to do architectural uh, lighting and benching. Nice. Uh, you know, oh, the water side, all the technologies that you need inside to build one of these grows, which are very sophisticated facilities, I might point out. The, uh, the, uh, the, the name of the company, once again, CEA Industries, CEAD is the stock symbol. Listen, will you come back with us? We don't have an expert in this, and you're it. So you're now on the hook. <laughs> Tony, you're you can't get out. It's like the mob. Welcome to the family, Tony. Take the gun. No leave the cannolis. No, it's vice versa. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you, Tony.